Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, DJ Boss 10 here. So, today, I am going to Lake Tobias in Halifax. I announced that on Monday. If you guys haven't checked that out, click on the left-hand corner to check it, check it out. So, anyways, I want to say that Ted 2 comes out tomorrow, which I am very excited for that movie. I heard it was a hilarious movie, so I am looking forward to go see it. So, anyways... I want to give a shout out to a girl named Emily Ruth Edder. She is a pretty girl. You know that song by Britney Spears and Iggy Azalea. So if you want to check that out, click the link above my head or click the link in the description. So anyways, my dad's friend Dave Ryder is coming to pick me up in a Dodge Caravan between 8.30 and 9 o'clock, which... He said to me on Monday, I do not want to be in the video, so I'm not going to show his face to you guys, because he does not want to be in the video, and I respect his wishes. So, what I'm going to bring with me is my Beats, my Hurley hat that is in my bedroom, and my sunglasses. So, and I'm also going to put on some sunblock. Because it is supposed to be very sunny out and very hot today. So that's why I'm wearing a white shirt. So anyways, I'll see you when we get in the Dodge Caravan. Hey guys, so I am on my way to Lake Tobias. Like I said, I'm not going to show you this guy's face because he does not want to be in the video. So, I planned a fun day. So did he. I have my sunglasses, my Hurley hat, and my headphones to listen to music to. Like my mom said, be sociable, which I am a sociable kind of person. And, um... Hmm? Seatbelt. Oh. Hold on, guys. Let me put the camera down. Okay. Okay. Let's give me the door seatbelt on. There we go. So anyways... I'll see you when we get halfway. Look at that, guys! Just cars passing by. Man, we're on the road. We just passed Interstate 80. Exits that go to Bloomsburg and Belfont. So, yeah. So, guys, we're listening to the radio. But they're listening to me at the same time. All about that bass by Maggie Trainer. I love that song. Like I said to you guys, I might be doing a Q&A yeah, with Mega Trainer take a nap or next yeah, month, be I believe. Like, be like a half hour. Maybe. You can play like a half hour. So, we're halfway there. I'm glad. So, let's see when we get there. Look at that, guys. We made it to Lake Tobias. You see that water spout right over there? That hasn't changed since I arrived at Lake Tobias last year. I just wanted to let you guys know right now that I have arrived at Lake Tobias... And Halifax, it's beautiful here, trust me. I haven't been here since 5th grade. And, um, we're doing a safari tour today. Hold on, just let me fix my hat, there we go. So, I'll record this when we go on the safari tour. Hey guys, so here we go, on the safari tour. I'm on the safari tour bus. And the seats feel cool, and I feel cool. <laughs> So, during the tour, I will be recording some things, so, that's that. Hold on, guys. I do want to welcome everyone to Lake Tobias. My name is Aaron, and I'll be your tour guide today. Lake Tobias started back in 1960 with their owner, J.R. Tobias. It started with them taking the family station wagon out to Kansas. He then brought back in the back of it a baby buffalo, a coyote, and a bobcat, amongst some other smaller animals. And then because so many of JR's family and friends were coming around to see the animals he was collecting, he opened the park in 65 and it's been open ever since. Unfortunately though, in 1996, Mr. Tobias did die of Alzheimer's disease and since then, his wife Polly and his children do run and own the park. And today Lake Tobias is about 200 acres and a home to more than 700 different individual animals, reptiles, and things of that nature. Now, both lakes that we see here were made by him. He also had his own excavating company. The one on my left is about eight feet deep in the middle. 
the one on the other side being Lake Tobias is about 40 feet deep in the middle. If you like to fish, you can fish in there. It's catch and release only, and you can find out more information at the refreshment stand. Now back here on the other side, a variety of different waterfowl to see, different types of ducks, geese, and swans. The main thing that we always like to point out here, unfortunately we can't see, you guys are gonna have to walk around to see it. Back at the barn are our capybara. Capybara are the largest rodent in the world. Those guys can reach weights of about 140 pounds. They come from South America. So if you use your imagination with me and you take a guinea pig about yay big, make it four feet long, about two and a half feet tall, uh, 140 pounds, as I said, brown. That's what you're looking for. Now, they do move slowly on land, but they are excellent swimmers. They have webbed feet like ducks to help them swim. They can also hold their, their breath for five minutes underwater. Okay, so they can swim the pond here back and forth. And uh, that also helps because they normally mate underwater. Keeps it PG. <laughs> now I do have some safety rules to go over before we head out. I ask that you guys remain seated while the bus is moving. Once I've stopped the bus, you may stand up, look at animals on either side. I just ask you to be courteous of others around you. Uh, now, if you guys have food along to feed the animals, please do not try and hand feed the large birds that you're going to see out here. What will end up happening is those birds will reach up, they'll try and jump up, get that food out of your hand, and they're going to end up pecking you and it's going to hurt. So just throw it out on either side. However, those other larger animals that like to come around the bus, you're more than welcome to pet or feed. Knowing that, just watch those animals with large horns and antlers. They like to walk around, rub up against the sides of the bus, swing their heads around. Please just watch them so your hands and arms don't get pinched. Lastly, if we do lose anything while we're out here, hats, sunglasses, trash, whatever, please let me know we can go back for it. However, I'm the only one that's allowed off the bus. Anybody have any questions? Alright, let's head out. Okay guys, so I will be recording some animals on the tour. So I'll see you then. See them guys? These are llamas. They're pretty, aren't they? <laughs> 